And there, there are other medals have been given to individuals who've done, uh, uh, I, I, can't, I should find out what their names are, but they're well-known people. So it was just a sort of recognition, I think it's sort of finishing World War II, things that the people or individuals, groups that have done during World War II. The Navajo, I don't know if you know about the Navajo, uh, uh, what do they call the Navajo people? Code talkers. Code talkers. Code talkers. Code code talkers. Code talkers. Code. Yeah, so code. they also got it. And, <laughs> You know, and <laughs> the Japanese didn't know the Navajo language. No one else did except the Navajo. So it was the language that was used. I had read somewhere that um, when the wasps ended their, their period, that they weren't recognized um, when they ended their service. So was this getting the medal of some type of closure um, to you being recognized and letting everyone know what you know what you went through and what you achieved. Uh, what, she, what she's saying is, um, what she's asking is, uh, it, having not being recognized um, after the program had ended, the WASP program ended, was this ceremony sort of a closure to that? Absolutely. We were disbanded before the war was over, and that was it. Was really kind of a sexist thing. There were so many pilots coming back, male pilots coming back from the 8th Air Force, which was in England, and they saw these women flying, they said they should be home, you know? And so they, they pressured Congress, they should be home having babies is the thing. And uh, so they pressured Congress to disband us after the war. So we all just went home. And, uh, and we did different things, you know? Most of the people did have very large families afterwards. And some of them had uh, pretty good careers, too. But it was sort of bringing us together, and it was a closure. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, my ears are still puffed up from no. the sort of flight I took to Los <laughs> Angeles yesterday. So I don't hear very well. Um, do you have a lot of photographs of your life experience or your experience in the wasp? I, I don't have a lot of photographs, though, but I do have some. And I have, it of, of the organization, other people, other people have done. But we always consider ourselves a small group. A thousand is not that small, though. But we, more or less, we support each other, and we, uh, we eventually, we flew planes. All of the planes that were available at that particular time. Well, you know, it's been proven. Women can do almost everything men can do, and they can do some things extra. Actually, um, uh, just a little bit more about the, about the program itself. Didn't you folks have to have, you folks had to pay for your own flying, right? You had, you had, they had to have a certain amount of hours, I think, just to be able to participate in the program. The men did not. So that's something that's pretty interesting. And also, um, they, uh, we're civilians. We, we ended up, yes, we ended up being, we were civilians. They never uh, militarized us, and uh, which they did with all the other women organizations like the Wax and the Waves and all of those organizations, the SPARS, the Coast Guard, they started as civilian organizations. And then after a year or so, they militarized them. But there was just something about, uh, we were really competing with the men. I think it's, it's, it's difficult to believe that there was this feeling at that time, but there really was, you know, just like discrimination that we've had, you know, things have changed, so change people's minds. So you never received uh, veterans benefits or, or anything? We uh, we got veterans, but not some veterans benefit, but not hospitalization. You know, it was too late. You know, because we became veterans in 1974, and you know, there was no point in. Some of us saw this. They gave us education benefits in 1974. Julia Childs was big, and we'd all go to Paris and learn to cook. <laughs> That's really kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah.
But another thing that was also interesting is that whenever any of the wasps had perished, um, the, the government would not, well, the government, the government would not pay to have them sent home, to ship them out. All the wasps would have to take a collection <laughs> mm -hmm. and pay for the, for the body to be mm -hmm. shipped home, not even a flag. You know? And, <laughs> And also, I mean, imagine being shot at with live ammunition. And you're flying up there in the air, and, and the guys are shooting at you with live ammunition. And why was that? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, I think that uh, you have to remember, um, we're not in a war zone. We're in this country. And uh, they just seem to treat the women a little differently. Yeah, this is just target practice, so. But most of the fellows, so they told target, so they were shot at with cameras, so. And the women at this particular air base were shot at with live ammunition. I don't, I, I really don't know whether anyone was shot down or not. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. And if you didn't, uh, you, they were probably never heard from again, so they didn't actually let you know whether or not. Uh, but, uh, um, I mean, I just, I just find it amazing what, what these women were through. I had no idea of, um, I mean, I guess this will kind of segue into the, how the book came about, but I, I personally had no, no knowledge of the wasp. Um, what happened, an interesting thing, was that Marissa, the writer, had this idea, gosh, um, do you know when she approached you? Yes, yes. Oh. Around what time? Oh, uh, I think, you know, Mar Marissa is a, a writer of children books, and um, uh, she feels it's important that, uh, you know, I had an idea when I was young and I was able to do it, though, which was all different. And uh, she, she feels that young girls, particularly, I don't know, maybe young boys, so, that uh, try, if you have a dream when you're young, you know, go after that dream. And things may happen that they may be part of something that happens in your life. Was it around, was it around like uh, 2002 when she approached oh, you about book, it? Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Um, Marissa, I think it now was longer than that, about 10 or 15 years ago, there was an article in 